Well, hello there, farmers. It's Greg here, and my friend Red Knight, he's going to be talking about the new town task today for the Derby. So let me hand you over to him, and he will continue with the rest. Hello, everybody. It's Red Knight here, and welcome to my town. Now, I do so love doing the town activities because it gives me a lot of wonderful resources and it also gives me the opportunity to open up a floating treasure chest which may contain diamonds or some other kind of expansion material. In addition to this, I get experience points and I actually get the chance again to decorate the town as well to the way that I would like it to make my farm and town a nice combination. Now one of the Derby tasks we have at the moment is for collecting town visitors and as you can see here it says collect 22 visitors until the Derby ends and you get 307 horseshoe points. Now that's actually quite good and I only need to service 22 visitors and that's actually very very easy. So let's collect this task, it will be my last one for this Derby and I've got 18 hours to get it done. So I don't think there's going to be any challenge with me actually being able to do this. All I need to do is to head on over to my town and service those visitors and then this one is done and then bang 307 points out of uh, my derby score that I need to achieve. Now I tend to go for the scores that are above 300. Now they could be in the low 300s or the high 300s as you can see here. Sometimes they're 320, sometimes they're only 300 points themselves. But the requirement for my hood is that everybody does a task that's 300 and above. Now that usually suits us fine. It allows us to get within the top three, sometimes four or five. But it means that we don't get demoted down to a lower league. Which is very important when you're in a Champions League. Now within the actual derby task at the moment, okay, the only one we've got is to service a number of visitors. And you can collect any of the visitors within the time that you've got remaining to actually complete this task. You've got your town visitor request board there for any outstanding orders, but at the moment I'm good, so I can just head on over to my town. My train has arrived, my passengers have gotten off, and my train goes away. But I'm not worried about the big train, I'm more interested in my personal train. Now, my personal train allows me to collect up to 10 passengers, and normally what I would do is to jump through all of my actual hoodies, searching for the person who has the maximum number of passengers that I can collect uh, within that actual one journey ride that I've got. Now, I'm afraid I can only collect one from one person at a time. I can't go to all of my other hoodies and then collect from each individual one. That's not what we're able to do within the game. So once you've actually maxed out your personal train, maximum 10 passengers is all you can pick up. Now currently within the game, I would just collect everybody that's waiting at that platform. But on occasion, there's more than the 10 passengers. So I usually go for the easy buildings, uh, thus leaving as an example the BNB till later, because the service time for that building is much longer than any other. Now all of my buildings are maxed out for service time, so they do speed up and go through the visitors very, very quickly, thus allowing me to finish these derby tasks in such a short time. So the actual turnaround of visitors I collect from my friends is really beneficial. Now, in the future, I'm going to have to be very specific. So as an example, you can see lots of strong men here. Now, with the new Derby task, it's going to focus on one character within the actual town. And as an example, let's just say that I need to collect a certain number of strong men, and I need to turn them around. Now, currently within the actual Derby, okay, I would collect any visitors. Uh, they would go to the one building, they get a gift, that counts. They go to two buildings, they do the first building, the second building, I get a gift, that counts. And it's the same with three buildings. So they go to the first two, do the third one, finish that, and I get a gift. Now, with the new Derby task, it's that one visitor I need to focus on. So that one visitor needs to go to all of their buildings exactly the same way. I get the gift from them, and then that counts towards the new Derby task total. So the new Derby task is to collect an X number of visitors for a specific character within the town. Now let's just say I need to service 10 of the strongmen, or 3 of the strongmen, or 5 of the strongmen. Now currently within the game, my playing style is only to service visitors that are going to either one or two buildings, and then to send away those that go to three buildings.
Now with this new update, I have a strong feeling that I may have to change my playing style. So maybe what I'm going to have to do now is to actually service those that want to go to the three buildings as well, instead of just sending them away like that. So I'm going to have to pick and choose the passenger that I've got to make sure I can do the derby task, as well as still turning around my passengers as normal, thus collecting my experience points, my rep points from my town, uh, also collecting those gifts that I want because there's expansion materials or uh, other kinds of things inside as well. Uh, and I specifically want to get the mine tools as an example. Also as well, I'm going to be looking for any floating treasure chests when I visit my hoodies or my own town, just to see if there's diamonds in there, because I do love to collect those diamonds, and they do add to my total nicely. Now with the new Derby, okay, uh, it's already a challenge within the town at the moment for resources. So I'm kind of a little worried that maybe it's going to be resource heavy as well, but we will have to wait and see. So let's just say that I do have a task for X number of strongmen. How many points am I going to get? Well, just like the normal Derby points at the moment, it's not going to change. You're going to get your maximum number of points, for example, which is the 320. You're going to get like an intermediate level number of points. Let's just say like uh, 200, 150, 175, or maybe a lower end scale as well, like let's say 75 as an example. And depending on your hood's playing styles, whether it's just a relaxed style or you're more competitive and you're going for the 320s, you've got something to choose from. Now the town is ideally suited for the higher level players because we usually have all the resources but that's not always the case. I would also recommend it for the lower level players because they're not going to be asked for items that we higher level players will be able to make. So I have a feeling that the town task is actually going to be quite beneficial for the lower level players because they don't have to worry about candle wax, they don't have to worry about pillows, they don't have to worry about blankets to a certain extent because all of the materials they can only make up to a specific level and it's going to make it so much easier for them to turn around a specific visitor. Now with the support of the stronger players they can actually turn these visitors around quite quickly but you need to start thinking about collecting passengers not just focusing on collecting based on the buildings but collecting them now based on the character you're now going to have to focus on whether it's one, two or three buildings, again based on that single character. So you are going to change your playing technique for the town. And it's going to be quite interesting to see how the new playing styles are going to develop. And I like this as an opportunity. Uh, in some ways it's kind of a, a little boring just c collecting a set number of visitors. Now it's okay, it's very easy. But with this it's a new challenge for me. And as a higher level player, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this because I do like to have a little bit of challenge within the game and I think that's what I've now got here. Now we do know that the new derby tasks are aimed at the higher level players so we've got nine new product tasks and we've got the town task as well. So I'm kind of excited because it means it's going to allow us high level players to focus on these ones, thus allowing the intermediate level players to focus on the easier tasks, and then the lower level players to again focus on the even easier ones. But it still will give us that opportunity to support each other. And then with the new Derby trading system, it's going to make it so much easier. You know what you require from your actual visitors once they go to the building. You've got your board there. You can start requesting from within the actual neighborhood as well. And you can get all of those products very, very quickly just by getting them donated by another hoodie within your actual town group. So it's, it's wonderful. I love this. It's a perfect combination. So new Derby tasks, the new trading system, you've got the products, you've got the townies there. It's a wonderful combination and I see a lot of potential with this. Okay, right, now I've done all of the 10 tasks within my town I can do at the moment. I've got uh, 18 hours left on the clock as, I can, as you can see here. I've got to get the 22 done. It's not going to be a challenge for me. So by the time this derby's over, I would have completed all of my 10 tasks, or sorry, 9 tasks, because I usually don't do the last one. Uh, and for me, okay, it then allows me to collect those rewards. So at the end of the day, it's all about collecting those rewards, the experience points, and turning the visitors around.
OK, that's it. That's all I need to tell you about the new Town Derby task. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and follow. And I will see you either on Camcord or again on YouTube or on the actual Heyday Forum for Supercell. But don't forget to subscribe to me on Twitter and do follow me on Facebook and in my Game Center as well. And hit me up with a request if you would like to do that and I will give you my links. OK, see you all next time and have a happy Heyday now and enjoy the new update. It's awesome.